Hardly any drivetrain technology has defined Audi so considerably. I simply like the idea of developing a vision for a car in a form that didn't yet exist at that time and to show the world that we could do it better. The all-wheel drive idea made automotive history for Audi. To learn more about the birth of Quattro technology, we travel to Hamlin in the German state of Lower Saxony. Here in a small industrial town lives the man who 35 years ago was head of pre-development at Audi and the originator of Quattro drive technology. In Ingolstadt, the head of chassis development comes to Walter Tresser and raves about the great handling of a VW Iltis, an off-road vehicle. He made the offhand comment that if we had the Iltis with more engine power, we would outshine all the rest. That was his vision, to have an Iltis that would have superior driving characteristics in snow. I was more of the opinion that we should make a sporty passenger car, a coupe, a two-seater or a two-plus-two, great performance and four-wheel drive. And then I won out in the end with my idea. In February 1977, Tresser and his 12-man team began to develop the first Audi with permanent all-wheel drive. Six months later, in November 1977, the first Audi Quattro is finished, the UR Quattro. In-house, the car is called the A1. The A stands for all-wheel, the one for the first all-wheel model. The car is a modified Audi 80 with slightly lengthened wheelbase and a five-cylinder turbocharged engine with 200 horsepower. Walter Tresser and his colleagues clock up lots of test drive kilometers before presenting the new driveline technology to Ferdinand Piesch, the chief technical executive with overall responsibility for the project. Piesch was behind the wheel at one of our first prototypes, and when the car came to a stop at the Turasha Hoha mountain pass, local people were there finning snow chains. And then, while assembling the snow chains, the locals kept glancing at the Quattro with its summer tires with expressions of pity on their faces. They fitted snow chains, and then Piesch just sped off with summer tires through the swirling snow. The all-wheel drive in the UR Quattro impresses and passes all internal tests. Now, all that remains is to choose a name for the new drivetrain. I tried the whole time to find a name that was not just a name, but more a type of classification. And then we came up with Quattro with two T's and an R that rolled off the tongue much better. But the Audi marketing department in Wolfsburg was pushing for the name Karat. Before that, I had heard about this perfume from 4711, a simple cologne for women. When the name Karat was presented in this meeting, I said, surely you don't want to name this beautiful car after an ordinary women's cologne. I showed them the bottle. It didn't make me any friends. But in the end, it helped make sure that Quattro won out. Walter Tresser prevails for the second time, and as a result, the Audi Quattro, with permanent all-wheel drive, made its world premiere in March 1980 at the Geneva Motor Show. While the all-wheel drive technology goes into series production, Walter Tresser moves to motorsport, along with his all-wheel concept. Here too, the success stories come quickly. In 1981, Franz Wittmann wins the Jana Rally in Austria, more than 20 minutes ahead of the competing cars. This lead and this appearance was all it took to focus the attention of the entire rally world on Quattro and on the four-wheel concept. Today, there's not a single rally car without all-wheel drive. The spotlight also falls on Tresser when the French driver Michel Mouton agrees to join his factory team. The first woman in the history of rally racing. With Mouton, he wins the San Remo Rally. From a technological standpoint, the Audi with all-wheel drive is at least two years ahead of the competition. And in 1984, it attracts the rally racing legend Walter Roll to the Audi factory team. Everyone wants to drive the most successful car in rally racing history and score victories with the Quattro technology. After amassing over 20 wins, Audi withdraw from rally racing in 1986. By then, Walter Tresser had also departed, leaving Audi to start his own business. Today, he runs a small fan club where he's gathered memories and vehicles from his career.
Walter Tresser had an idea that enabled him to redefine Audi drive technology, and it's still decisively shaping driving dynamics today.